Hey guys, what's up? As you can probably tell, I, um, I bought a MacBook Pro. Now before you freak out, I do realize that Macs are expensive, that you seem like you're paying a ton more for just the operating system. I, I, I realize that all that's coming in the comments, but I just wanted to throw out there that it really does make sense in a lot of ways because this offers something that I'm a huge fan of, choice. Up to this point, I've been a mainly traditional PC user, meaning a it comes with Windows on it and I put Linux on it type user. So I did have the option to switch between Windows and Linux if the piece of software I needed was Windows only and didn't work in Wine. However, up to this point, any software that is Mac only has been completely uh, useless to me because I haven't had any way to be able to use it. So the other day on Mac Mall on eBay, they had the MacBook Pro 13 inch, as you can see, for 1050, no tax, no shipping, which is about 220 to 250 dollars cheaper than I could get it anywhere else in the world because I'm not a student. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the box itself. See here, this is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is the lowest one that is available. It's a 2.3 gigahertz. Here on the top of the box, we do have a list of all the specs that you're probably not gonna be able to see because I'm not doing any sort of live focusing. But it has the Core i5 Sandy Bridge processor. It has four gigabytes of RAM, has a 320 gigabyte hard drive, and it's 13 inches. That's probably enough to say, you guys know what a Mac is. Go to apple.com, look it up. When we open it up here, we've got the padding on top. We've got the MacBook itself. Yep, you can definitely see that. It says designed by Apple in California. I'll, I will seem extremely new to this because if you're new to the channel, I've actually never owned a Mac of any kind, so this is completely new to me. Let's put this off to the side, we'll come back to it. And here we go, we'll go ahead and pull this up. We've got the section here with, I would assume, some documentation. Let's see, open that up. It says, it says everything Mac and everything else. Just some documentation, probably some stickers in there. Uh, cleaning cloth, it appears, with a little Apple logo on it. Put that off to the side. And here we have all of our charging components. Uh, I'm completely new to this, so you'll have to fill me in, but this is the grounded cable gives you the three prong adapter. Traditionally it just comes with a two prong you see on the other one. This is all out of focus, I'm really sorry guys. But at this point, let me go ahead and take the wrapper off of this thing. See here on the bottom we've got the important please read the software license agreement before using this product. And we'll open this up, rip that all to pieces, and then we should be able to just slide it out if all goes according to plan. There we go. So here across the top, Apple logo. We've got on the other side, the way you open it, there we go. Beautiful, shiny new screen, MacBook Pro. And there we go, we've readjusted, we've got it open now. 13 inch MacBook Pro, Core i5, four gigs of RAM. Let's go ahead and start it up and just see what happens. Hear a little bit of noise, the DVD drive making some noise. And this is the complete first boot my first real experience with a Mac in quite a few years. I don't think I've touched one since college other than just going by the Apple store. All right, and we are ready to do the startup. At this point, I think I will end the video. I'm gonna go through the startup process and just get acclimated to it. I'll probably make some videos for the main channel showing off installing Caden Live, installing some other, excuse me, installing some other open source software on the device itself, uh, just sort of incorporating it with Linux and with open source software. I don't know. If you guys are interested in seeing something like that, definitely let me know. Of course, I will be dual booting this. I'll probably put Ubuntu 11.04 on it just because uh, from what I've heard last night, uh, Ubuntu 11.04 does work very, very well with the newer MacBooks. So, uh, if you have any comments, questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will guarantee that uh, I'll probably get some not terribly friendly comments and questions on this one, but it did seem like the best option in terms of the future, in terms of having choice in what software I want to use. If something is not available on Linux, I will be able to use it now one way or another. But that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.